On today's video, the most amazing websites for June with some really weird design choices, but actually they work pretty well. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Ron Segal. Welcome to Flux. If this is your first time here and you're into web design and freelance and all things design, make sure you subscribe. And we have the best five websites I saw during June. We're gonna break them down, see what I like, see what worked, see how they react to mobile responsiveness. And let's check them out. So the first one is the website of Alan Menken. And check this out, he has kind of an intro here with music, which is, I would say, a big no-no, but this person is actually, as you can see here, he's a writer and a musician. He created a lot of the Disney songs. And so this website is all about music, and all about giving you the experience of his songs and his work in music. And so the main kind of layout here explores some of his more famous song that he wrote for Disney. And notice what happens here. So you can kind of explore and get a little of digest. I don't know if you can hear, but when you hover over one of them, you can hear the song in the background and you can see it expands. You can see the letters jumping out. Now already here, there's a lot of elements that I like. Remember, we're here trying to communicate music, the, the work of a musician and the layout of the components jumping up and down kind of gives it a musical note feeling. Um, and even the letters in the typography, they're different fonts and they're jumping in there, kind of gives you the, the vibrant sound of, the, the vibrant feeling of a sound. So I think there's a lot of clever decision here. Now if we'll choose one of them and click it, we'll kind of transform, being transformed into the musical um, itself. And then we'll have the video clip alongside with an experience of giving you a little bit behind the scenes of the song. So, and you can read more about the article and kind of move into an article. Again, we have this musical layout here um, that I think is really nice where you can click here to hear the song and read a little bit more about this. So I think this is a really, really good use of design to convey this kind of a musical feeling. Um, you can see throughout the website, so this is the full full list of works that he was working on. We have this the same kind of typographic jumping interaction. Even if we'll go to his biography, we'll kind of have a consistent use of typography. And I think this is really, really well. Remember, we're here trying to communicate music, something that is not always visual. And the designers here made really smart visual decision. I think this website was designed by Hello Monday, which is a fantastic agency. They're doing a lot of great work. So make sure to check them out. The second website is this company, which is called Everpost, and they're basically kind of a service for video editors. Now, the first experience that you have here, again, they're in the world of videos. So you have this kind of a, a, the feeling that you're in some kind of a video sphere. And as you scroll down, note we're kind of like rotating in this 3D world of videos. And it's also nice, note there's kind of a clock that fills out as you scroll. Now, a lot of their value proposition, you'll see it throughout uh, us scrolling here, it's about time. They're working really, really fast and they'll do the work really, really fast. So they're putting you already in the context of a clock that's turning, the time is moving as you scroll down. Now they completely kind of revamp the colors. We're now in this duoton world of, you know, blue and purple, um, where they have kind of a video introducing themselves. And then, then they're switching to a completely different style. So now we're in this kind of an illustrative, um, I would say kind of UI word that looks like a tech software where they're explaining um, their value proposition with really, really nice animations and interactions here, um, basically telling you how they edit and do the work for you. So I think this is, and now we have something nice, which is kind of, we have this element of the video here, which kind of sticks, but then it changes when they're talking about different things like video correction or adding sound to it. And so this is a really nice kind of design element, sticking it in the center while the text kind of keeps scrolling around. This is a really nice. Um, and as you scroll through, this section kind of continues for a while before they're moving into a different kind of a visual um, 
visual style where again those are videos and they're going back into the style of duotones for the videos so I like this I, what I like here is that there you can see that they're jumping around between multiple visual styles right you start up with this clear white background with videos on top and then you move into the duotone world and then you move into the illustration world however it all seems to work seamlessly together which I think is is you know the mark of good designers taking you through um, a very consistent and very um, you know you you can feel the brand here with the colors with the purple and blue you can really feel the vibe of the brand and yeah I really really like this website the next website that I want to show you is the new website of Framer they have a new web version of the tool and we're actually not going to discuss Framer right now I just want to show you what I like in this new website I feel like this new website as you scroll along here you kind of have the video popping up and basically they're talking to you I love the use of typography here so yes Framer is now on the web and they're telling you basically why it's awesome and they're using lots of different colors so obviously black is the the main color here but they're jumping between you know the yellow the purple all the blue every time they're using kind of a different um, ascent color so what's beautiful here is although they're using a lot of colors here it still doesn't feel overwhelming because every time they're making kind of a good decision about you know what is the ascent color so every time you know in every section there is one main color and so even though they're rotating between them it works really well and it's not overwhelming so I like again I feel like this is kind of an Apple approach to software uh, company because they they're using the very big type there's no small letters here right even the the actual text is very large very easy to read and which makes it very very friendly um, and and fun to to scroll down and explore so yeah I really like this new approach from them no small text no not too much bullshit mainly in the visuals clearly um, explaining why they they think their product is better in doing it in kind of a friendly way love the new framer website the next website that I want to show you is from an image studio photography studio that is um, images that feel strongly about feeling so this is a studio that basically shoots in a lot of hotels and food and that kind of stuff so here we have an horizontal scroll um, which kind of feels like in a way to me kind of scrolling through an album right so now you you can see what what they're into hotels culinary travel and lifestyle and you can kind of get a glimpse into this and all of this is basically just the intro to the website so you have to go through this to kind of get the vibe about what the studio is and now you're getting a little bit of history on the studio to me the type is a little too small but I would say sometimes that's a design decision to to say Ah, we don't care for you to read this because we're so like fine schmeckers or whatever but it's like oh so small and you know giving you all the details again I'm not into small type but it does send you this kind of a fine design um, message along with these so now you're actually getting to the main page where you're actually can choose between their project or random or travel diaries now here basically what I like is you can pick the project and there's really cool scrolling experience here so you can see how the photo is always staying in the same position and it's the numbers that are scrolling in the picture kind of change I really like this this layout which keeps you focused you know you're always focused here in the middle while you you know where you are right because you see two and four here so it keeps you in context but keeps you centered um, and even when you're getting into the project you kind of have the same experience right you have an intro to the project and then photo in the background in in the center fixed and then you keep scrolling and the, the images kind of reveal each other and it gives it does give you kind of the feel of scrolling through an album I really really like this kind of scrolling experience right here so good job on the studio Siobhan there are some things here which could be better for example there is no navigation from this position I have to either go all the way or click back here so I'm kind of lost in terms of navigation but again there's really good things here the last website that I want to show you is from this company which is called career uh, cover my meds and actually this is their 
career website. So it's not even the website of the company, it's actually just their careers website. And this is an horizontal scrolling website, which again is, is kind of a new experience or um, not a lot of websites are totally horizontal when you're scrolling here. I like it that they're trying to tell a story kind of with a different layout, obviously because you're scrolling horizontally, but also the way that they kind of combine these sections, they, they go into one another with you know, this kind of a horizontal or diagonal cut here and this kind of a paper feel to it or a brush feel to it. I like how the sections merge into one another. And also here, note, we kind of get the feeling of a 3D image or or vibe to it, even though if you know, look really good into it, you'll see that it's basically just an image where the different components are just cut in by moving them and scaling them where you get the, the feeling of depth, even though, you know, this is not a 3D image, this is not a video, it's just the, the different elements here are on top of one another. So this is probably done with PNGs. I think this is a fantastic work, um, work of demonstrating how you can create depth without a video or 3D. So again, I like, I like how they overlaid the components one on top of another, right? The people, the type, it all kind of blends together, but still enough white space to help you read and make this digestible. So yeah, I really, really like their approach for their career page. All right, let's dive into the mobile responsive and let's see how that worked out. Let's see if they, you know, managed to do the websites pretty well on mobile. So here's the website of Alan Mankin and this is actually pretty decent, right? You can understand that it's basically a horizontal scroll because you can see the rest of the composition from left and right, and it actually works pretty well. And if we click on one of them, you still get the transition. So yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel this is a rather good adaptation of, oh man, we're gonna close this because a lot of, noise here. So I feel like this is a really good adaptation from the Allen website. This website of the EverPost, let's see, so you can see here the sliding and the effect. So the scroll down works really well. We can keep sc scrolling and yeah, the animation works well. Yeah, so this website is also I, so here, of course, we're losing that kind of an element that sticks in the middle and um, they, they just separated them into different animations, but it still works really, really well. And the website is rather readable, loads pretty fast. You can move into the different sections here. So I would say this is a good responsive uh, adaptation. One thing that maybe I would do is kind of add to the, to the top navigation here, some kind of a background, because you know when the logo goes text up on, on text, a little bit unreadable and so maybe that's one thing that I would change over there. Next website is the website of the, you know, studio photography. Here they're actually losing all the coolness of the scrolling experience. They're basically just putting the photos one after another and although it works, I mean, you know, you can see the photos I feel like this website actually lost a lot of the coolness and turned into a pretty basic, a pretty basic, you know, portfolio website. So this website, too bad. Uh, I feel like this this is kind of a lazy solution for the scroll, and you can probably do something a little bit better. Framework website. So let's try and do that. So one thing is you can see that this turns into video. I would say a little bit too late, but all right, let's say that it's good. So it starts pretty good, but I think the problem is here where they didn't do an adaptation for the animation. And so because they are wide, the animation, we can't really see what's going on here. So I, I feel like these are kind of getting lost, right? I can't really see the UI. In this case, in the framework website, I would adjust and probably create new animation or illustration be besides those one. Um, I feel like leaving them on the wide ones was also, I'm not sure if lazy, but it wasn't the best solution to showcase your product on mobile. So I'd probably 
change that up. And the last one here, the cover my meds career. So here, you know, you see it says scroll to explore, but I'm basically, well, you can't see my finger, but I'm trying to scroll up, which is usually what you do with your mobile, and it just doesn't work. And it doesn't tell you scroll to the left. There isn't even an error or anything. So this is something that's a little bit annoying. Uh, but when you start to scroll down or scroll to the left, it does look pretty good. Um, so the adaptation is good. I would just clarify better because we're not used to scrolling left or right when we're consuming content on mobile. So that's probably something that I would change. All right, these were the five websites that I loved this month. If you want to check below this video or here, you can see the previous month's video that I love. If you want to get some more inspiration and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.